What are you doing, Mama? Looking for the corona virus out there? You might find it in that yard. <laughs> yeah, there is something about this whole uh, virus thing and when you're a little bit more prepared than other people, it just rubs people the wrong way. No one wants to be reminded of their shortcomings. And, you know, honestly, I could really care less what people do with how they're gonna prep for this. Um, it is gonna spread, obvious, pretty obvious at this point it's gonna spread. I mean, it was a few cases here and there on the East Coast, now it's everywhere. It's, it's there's like nine people in Philly that have it. Um, so, ways to protect yourself, pretty simple, right? Wash your hands, stay away from sick people. The mask isn't gonna do shit at this point. Uh, you know, if you don't have an N95 mask, I have four of them, I'll show you them upstairs later. Um, anyway, other than that, I'm just going to leave you guys with this. What do you have to lose by preparing a little bit, right? I'm going to show you how I did it. Didn't go too crazy. Nothing that the regular person wouldn't be able to do. It's not some crazy doomsday prepper situation. This is more along the lines of protecting myself from getting sick. I don't fucking want to get sick, all right? I... I could, you know, if I die from it, I die from it, but like, I don't want to die for one. Two, I don't want to be sick because it's annoying. Being sick sucks. Uh, if the collapse happens because of this, which is very unlikely at this point, we're, we're like at the, we're not even close to the brinking. I know there's other channels. Oh, we're right at the brink. No, we're not. The hospitals aren't even close to being full. In fact, nine people is nothing. I mean, there's probably a thousand people that have the flu right now. Is this the flu? Am I that guy? No. This is not the fucking flu. This is way worse, all right? I'm not that person. But I'm just saying, it's not at that level of, like, let's saran wrap the windows and disinfect before we enter the house. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to show you guys some of the preparations I put in place. And maybe you can get some ideas for that because it's not too late. I was at the store today. There's plenty of stuff. Is there hand sanitizer? No. <laughs> But there's plenty of other things you could do, uh, and here's what I did. So, first thing was first. I had to get a water filtration system in this house. It was really important that I got this. So, this is not a sponsor of the channel. Okay, I bought this with my own money. I feel like I have to say that now, because uh, people will put it in, oh, you, you know, it must be nice to get stuff for free. And not everything I get for free, and if I do, you're going to know about it. Anyway, this is an Apex 5-stage water filter. It isn't like the top of the line one. If I owned this house, I would get the whole setup underneath, you know, the whole deal. But I don't own the house, so I just got something I can easily put together. It was under a hundred dollars. This thing was 80 bucks, made in the USA. You guys know how I feel about stuff made in our country and supporting local companies and companies within our um, borders. Anyway, uh, five stage filter. It's good for like 35,000 gallons or whatever. It's got this really nice filtration system. Um, and it's, it's very machined very nicely. It's easy to put together. We're going to zip tie this or something to here and make this a little bit more cleaner uh, than just this tube all hanging around. That's the one downfall about it. But so it's pretty simple. You know, you got your valve and there you go. Fresh, clean drinking water. And uh, it's it's nice. It actually is really good. So if the machining on it's really nice, it cha pair of channel locks took the old end off, screwed the adapter on, put this on, good to go. And that was the main thing, right? This this Apex water filter was number one. I had to get that. Water is the most important thing that could go fast. All right. Now in a situation where things get bad and stores are empty and hospitals are full and people aren't making money because people aren't going to work. The grid starts shutting down. Very unlikely situation, but it's a possibility, right? You cannot rule out that possibility. If you rule out that possibility, you're naive and you're not, you just, you know, you can't, you could be like, well, oh, the media hypes it up. There's always going to be a power outage. There's always going to be a bad fire. There's always going to be a reason to have preparations like this in place, right? So you could fight me all day long. What do I have to lose by setting these preparations aside? Nothing. If I'm wrong, I lose nothing. But maybe I don't have to go shopping for three months. What do you have to lose? Possibly everything, right? Your family could get sick. You could get sick. 
You may not be able to go to work. You can't make money. You could die. You know, it's a respiratory, uh, it's a respiratory infection. So, you know, if you don't have a good set of lungs, you smoke, you drink, you do things like that. You know, you're you're a good risk to get this thing and not get better, especially if the hospitals are full. You have a child. They're they they have a regular cold, and you can't get basic care because there's a hundred thousand people at the hospital with the coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want that to happen. So let's just put all aside the media hyping up things and all that. That doesn't matter. What matters is being a man, stepping up and taking care of your family. All right. As I said in the other video, if you're a single mother, then step up and take care of your family. So the water filter, $80 for this thing. All right. Now, this is my backup reserves. This is nothing. I have this all the time. This is not anything new here at the Hard City headquarters. All right, this is <laughs> this is a regular day here, but I did buy some extra Dasani. Usually I have like five or six cases. Dasani is good for one year. It's got a one year shelf life. So that's just the backup of the backup right here of the water filter. If people stop going to work and we have to deal with, you know, water treatment plants shutting down, and sanitation possibly not coming, and all that. At that point, we're probably going to bug out, right? Right now, right now, the situation is bug in. Don't go to public places. Don't go to places where people are sick. It, you know, use hand sanitizer. Carry it with you. We're gonna sh I'm going to show you some of those things you can do. Anyway, that's my backup water supply. Um, and also with Storm, she always drinks bottled water, so now I can just give her from the, from the filter. So if you do have a pet, make sure you stock up on dog food because that's going to go quick too if things get bad. She has about three weeks left here um, and two months here and one more bag on the way and three more bags of treats. Why for the dog? Well, she's important to me and she's all I got. So that's, that's my dog. That's my homie. Disinfectant wipes we have up top. All right. But we also took it. To another level and got some of these things and these that one of these is going to go in a truck not like i'm going to walk around the stores with these but um i'm just going to keep it in the truck just in case you know if things get real bad i'll have one in there although maybe i should not let anybody see that because they might break in and steal the damn thing so a couple of those some clorox bleach you should already have this uh i ran out recently and never re-upped on it so i got one today you're going to Put a splash of this with all your clothes because it's going to disinfect all your clothes every time you wash. This is nothing new. This is common sense stuff, right? I have 10 of these downstairs in the basement. This is a backup cook system. I have the, the thing you screw it into, the stove top, in case power goes out. Friday, I'm buying a generator, possibly. We'll see how that works out. Hand sanitizer, very important to get. 60% uh, alcohol-based soap. All right, really important. And here's something that a lot of you probably don't know to do. This is uh, colloidal silver. This is an immune booster, uh, bleh, an immune booster, immune system booster. It's a dietary supplement, really good for you in these kind of situations. Take a drop of it a day, a tablespoon a day, and vitamin C. You know, get yourself some of that, and uh, that'll help you your immune system be a little bit more stronger than it normally would be. And you're going to need that. So when you come in the house, disinfect things that you touch, you know, your steering wheel for your cars, your door handles and all that. You don't really have to worry about that yet. You're not at that stage of carrying this as an EDC item on your, <laughs> you know, but uh, I would get them now. They're buy one, get one right now. I don't know about in your areas, but that's what they got. So as far as food, I couldn't find any freaking backup reserves for food. So I have... I have some canned food stocked up, not a lot. I have to have my peanut butter. Didn't have any of the big ones, so gotta start looking for some more ways to stock up on food, but this is what I have for now. It's not a ton, but this is not what I'm eating every day. This is emergency stuff. This is not gonna be touched, any of that. Uh, and then just, you know, I I have regular chicken and, and rice anyway. I got a ton of freaking rice that's good forever. And that's pretty much, I just went regular food. I didn't go crazy on the food yet. So I was trying to, I was trying to find um, those 30 year 
buckets. They are sold out everywhere. I got a e I'm on an email list to make sure I can get one when they do come available again. But I should have. I should have. That's why I fucked up. You know, because you don't know. And it's good to have 30 years. So what do you have to lose? You spend 35 bucks, you get a, a two week supply of, of reserve food. It's actually good. It's like freeze dried. They have like pancakes and oatmeal, all kinds of stuff. Which by the way, I do have a ton of oatmeal up there. I have like four boxes or something. So what else? I have another Lysol thing in the bottle, not the spray kind. The uh, Lysol, so I can put it in like a little, a little thing like this and keep it in a spray bottle to where if I do need to, I can like spray on the go or whatever. Uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you what an N95 mask is. <clears throat> Under here is my bug out bag. And this is in a situation where you're gonna grab this bag and go, everybody should have this. You should all have a bug out bag prepared. This is a 511. We're gonna do a review on this tomorrow and we're gonna dump it out. So if you guys are interested in seeing what's in a bug out bag, the video's coming tomorrow. Tonight we got a podcast to do. Up at Rotated Views, I have a video on the way now coming out. So we're really busy this week at Hard City because I'm on vacation. So there is N95 mask in here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe I don't have them in here. All right, so here we go. N95 mask, I have four in total, and I've had these for years, and I've been telling you guys for years to stock up on these because you cannot get them right now. You can't, they're sold out everywhere. These aren't gonna help you in a situation. The mask, it's, it's, it's not really gonna help you unless things get really, really bad. Then you might need to walk around with a mask. I see people in their car, they're driving around with like the hospital masks on or whatever, that's, that's not doing you any good. You can scratch the outside of the mask, scratch your eye, and then you have it, all right? So they're actually worse off for you than, uh, than you think because those, are use, those should be safe for the hospital people and people actually have a use for them. Right now, there's no use for the general public to have these, but if you can come across them, get them, all right? These I've had for a while because I used to own a body shop, so of course, these are dust masks that we use in a body shop, but they work for that, so... That is pretty much it. The other, only other thing I did to go crazy on was um, like toilet paper. I got maybe like two months supply of toilet paper. And uh, like I said, another thing at Lysol that you spray the bottle. And I have multiple ways to filter out water. So it's not like, like this here, this is a, a life straw. So you can use this to filter. You can put this on any bottle of water, right? Put that thing on any bottle of water and uh, you're good. You just put it in the river or wherever, screw this to the top, water filtration. Same deal with this. You can take this, let me see if I can get it. You fill up the orange part and then you push down and the water fills up through and this is a, a good way. So multiple ways to filter out water. It's the most important thing. You can only go three days. You can't live without it. So, you know, if you don't have multiple ways to filter water, don't worry. You can just boil it. That's fine. But, um, you know, you should have some kind of water filtration. At the very least, I mean, people, you don't have to go too crazy. This is not too crazy, right? This is just like a regular, these are like important things when, when something like this is going around. Because I don't fucking want this shit. Let's be honest. Nobody wants it. So if you're one of those people like, ah, oh, fucking flu, whatever, you know, just... If that's fine, you want to think like that, that's fine. Good on you. If you're wrong, you have a lot more to lose than I do, right? So I'll leave you guys with that. I'll see you in the next one. Video on the way. Podcast tonight. That's next week. Another video tomorrow. Actually, another video every day. Storm says hello and goodbye. And in case I don't see you, good night. Peace.